Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. What's that face for? This light is so bright. I know, our glasses <laughs> are like flashing everywhere. I'm sorry for that. So today we're talking about more money. More money. <laughs> um, these are a, a couple of things that we found so far. Uh, what was it again? Uh, Financial I independence ideas that we found. So far. And we actually utilize them um, in our regular basis or so. Yep. Um, so for those of you who are in the fire stage or or just trying the journey, to get rid of debt or trying to be um, manage your personal finance. So yeah. hope that will help for you. At the time that this is recorded, we are in Sydney. We, are, we have two kids. Okay. Yep. The age of five and six. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We're in lockdown, so I figured the best time to make, make more, videos. more videos. So here we are. At um, 10 30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so these are a couple of things that we found so far. Um, if you are going through financial journey or financial freedom journey in yes. a sense, um, then we actually utilize them um, for us. Correct. The first one is the most important one. Normally we, we don't put it in order, but this is a must. If you have any consumer, consumer debt, <laughs> just pay it off. Consumer pay debt. Pay it off. Pay them off. Yeah. Um, I guess the main part would be credit card debt, car loan. Personal loan. Personal loan. loan. Those are the three main criteria that yeah. one, it, um, what is it? it has a, a very high interest rate. Yeah. Um, two, it, it depreciate in value. Some of them don't even yeah. have any value at the end of it. Yeah, like um, uh, white goods. Yeah, right? would that be people? Yeah. People rent it, rent, rent, rent to buy to for that. buy for appliances. Yeah, um, which mm. doesn't make any sense. And no, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes for what a um, hundred dollars, you can get a secondhand one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. They just want it new, and but they they're willing to pay a lot more. Yeah, we we're the secondhand people. Yes, <laughs> you can buy it. Like, it doesn't matter where you are. For example, maybe Facebook Marketplace here in Sydney, Australia. We use Gumtree. I think, um, especially in appliances, that's what we normally do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for us. Well, so. well, not a lot of secondhand, but mainly appliances. If we we see it, because we don't see the value of getting a brand new one. They're so expensive. Might as well just get um like TV. Our TV is secondhand. Yeah, and then just get a one or two year old model. Yeah, that's it. I don't know why they're selling, but it's still working. <laughs> well, yeah, it's I mean, been what, we how many our years? Our TV broke down, and then we bought uh, a second hand for the living room one. Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. Even that alone, the it's been like six years. That TV, the second yeah. hand TV, and so far so good. I still remember the, yeah. the only reason that TV was actually being sold is because he's moving overseas and oh. he does want to take it over, uh, the yeah, TV overseas. Yeah, yeah. I'm like okay, fair enough, and that's the reason why I bought it. Yeah. Oh, we're so. talking about paying down debt. Well, but <laughs> but <laughs> but if you buy a second hand, it's it's half of the price. You don't even have to pay for interest or anything. Yeah. So That's consumer it. Yeah. goods instead of buying brand new, buy a second hand. Yeah. So <laughs> pay off all your debt first, and next when you have money, go invest. Invest, it doesn't mean have to be invest your money. Maybe invest on your knowledge first yeah. of all. You know, reading, going on podcasts, yes. um, listening to podcasts, watch audio, our audible, mm. yeah. watch our channel, um, watch our journey, how we go about. Or, yeah, yeah, just get tips and, and tricks from other people that they're trying to be financially independent. Yeah. You learn a lot from that. Like maybe, oh, okay, I'm using the same trick. Oh, how can I improve it? Yeah. Um, I do that. I do. Um, um, you know, when I first started this channel alone, I don't mm. know what to do with it. And I figured, you know what, this is my journey, and I yep. figured if anyone who is thinking of going through that journey, yep. um, want to know how we go about doing it, then this is how we do it. I think that's how we started. We we trying the micro investment, yeah, and then we just trying to share how's the journey, and it's been amazing. Yeah, our journey in the micro investing. If you guys seen any of our videos. Yeah. You know, I started about fifteen dollars a day. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and one and a half years ago. One and a half years mm. ago, and at the time this is recorded, we've got about what seventy five thousand. Yeah, in our uh, mark, well, in our micro investment fund. Yeah. Oh well, but keep in mind, we we keep putting money in, not mm -hmm. that just grow from there. We put, yeah. we keep putting money in there. 
and well, it won't it won't stop um, i'll yeah. say you know until i don't know when i say we hit like a thousand bucks a week i think that's a pivot point what do you mean a thousand we put month a thousand a week in no, 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 or we can in, take it out as in the interest should uh, receive a thousand dollars per return. week which is yeah, yeah mm. the return with it which is equivalent to an average person living in a western society western yeah. world yeah um, developed country well in sydney anyway yeah. um like it might be a bit different where mm. you are but hey that's that's how i use that as a benchmark yeah but so far on an average is about what 100 uh, to 200 dollars per week 200 a week i'll say yeah, yeah. 200 dollars per week Around so that. i need to have 10 times <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> next get a push bike versus a car like especially people that live in city mm -hmm. or just close by like us we live really close by to the city and that's why we had the idea well getting a bike a cargo bike getting two kids at the back it looks really cool <laughs> <laughs> electric cargo bike that yeah. is worth about seven thousand yeah. dollars um we're looking at that long-term longevity of it mm -hmm. um yeah you can buy, buy a car for that amount of money yes or if not double it at about ten thousand dollar car yeah um but the running cost of um, a car versus electric bike cannot compare. You don't have to pay <laughs> maintenance, insurance, yeah, rental, daily expenditure, yeah, um, yeah registration, um, uh, government fees and charges. Um, and it's better for your health as well. You, you just turn off the electric mode. <laughs> Try to do it. <laughs> so if you if, if this apply, I guess for the people that is living in the city. Mm. Um, for us, we do live really close to the city. Um, but we don't have to go to the city often anyway. It's more for, for dropping and picking up the kids. But I find yeah. it really useful and I enjoy it a lot more compared to looking for parking and park the car. <laughs> Not a good Yeah, parking. it's very stressful, a very stressful time when we, we have to pick school. up and drop off. <laughs> yes. Like finding a parking. Yes. Um, and and then you're late. Exactly, especially in the afternoon when you're picking up. Um, I, I have to, at one stage, I have to park, I think it's like three blocks away, mm. um, which is about 10, 15 minute walk. Um, it does, it sounds far, but with kids, with a backpack and with the coordination, crossing the busy road and all yeah. that stuff that comes with it. Uh, yeah, on a bike, in and out within about two minutes. Yeah, cost is not that cheap, but then when you look for the ongoing cost and the convenience, it's really winning. Mm -hmm. So are we selling the second car? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting until the kids are getting off the, the, car seat. the car seat. Yep, next one. Spend the same while earning more. I think we're doing pretty well on that. Yeah, um, example, if you, for us anyway, the earning more would be from our eBay side hustle. Yeah. Um, even though we earn a lot more in our eBay side hustle, we don't, we spend, don't spend that. Much. Yeah, <laughs> we we put it in investment or put it in somewhere. Yeah, because somewhere the, the problem of majority of the people mm. nowadays is they, they pay rise, change job, promotion, any other reasons, but they they just keep spending more. Yeah, you your your salary increase for thirty percent, but then you spend another 50 percent so you can never ever catch up and you want a bigger house bigger car bigger furniture bigger uh, latest this latest yes yep. yeah for us we don't <laughs> no in fact it's the other way around let's buy a cheaper one, <laughs> a cheaper one. i know anything that you can use and that can last longer yeah. that's how i see it now a good i think it's a good quality product mm -hmm. that is second hand that's what i like <laughs> Next, Next one, one, find a cheap social activity. We do this a lot. I mean, before COVID with our children. What are you talking about when we're dating? Actually, yeah. Before, yeah. It's just, before even kids yeah. arrive in the picture, yeah, we do a lot of free activities. Yeah. Like walking around the city, yeah. um, a lot of free entertainment here and there. Um, you know, before COVID with our children, we take them to the city by public transport. Oh, on a Sunday. On a Sunday. Yeah, the two dollar, uh, two dollar something, two fifty. Something like that. Something ridiculous. Don't have any more. Um, something mm. ridiculously, uh, very cheap. Yeah. Uh, encourage people to go out and about mm. using public transport, which what we do. Um, ride a bicycle, a lot yes. of different places. Yes, um, it's a good investment with a bicycle. Yeah, you know, we go to the beach. We go to, we go 
a lot of kids activity, kids friendly area. Yeah. And I suppose is we we're really lucky live in Sydney. There's a lot of free outdoor activities mm-hmm. that we can do. That's yeah. why during lockdown there's still so many people out there. <laughs> Next is our topic: go minimalist. Yep. What's how do I go? How, how can I? Well, the less elaborate. you have, I'll say the less you have, the the more time you can manage yourself, organize yourself instead of your items. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. Because you will just spend too much time on organizing your stuff, mm-hmm. and or maybe looking for okay, how well I have too much stuff. How can I organize it? So you buy more organizing stuff. Oh, I don't have enough room. I need a bigger house, <laughs> right? That, yep. that that's the problem. <laughs> that is. Yep. Yeah, that's how uh, I see it. And I said, well, just earlier I said, you, 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 you need to be, you need to be minimalist because you don't organize your stuff. You just put everything there. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. But the less you have, the less problem, and you can focus on whatever you're trying to achieve. That's how I see it. I've chucked a lot of things, right? Yeah, about two or three suitcases worth of clothing. More that's the that. main part. Shoes, yes. <laughs> heaps yes. of them. So oh, that's so so many pairs of shoes. <laughs> I don't understand why did I. Anyway, that's this, just another story. Yes, <laughs> last one. Live at home if you can, if you choose to, or yeah. if your parents allow you to. Because living at home, you can really save a lot of money. Not that you're not paying anything; you're still paying rent. You're paying you're paying your electricity, everything, mm-hmm. and your mom cook you meal. Your mom do your laundry. Pay her. <laughs> I would appreciate that if my kids can do that to me in the future. Yeah, yeah, do it. Like it's just cheaper rent, and you got someone that love you, look after you, and cook you nice food. Why not? Yeah, and the other one is if you don't, if you already have the encouragement to move out, mm-hmm. um, find a roommate, find a housemate, yes. live in a shared house, um, you know, uh, do whatever it is in order for you to cut costs. I used to live in a shared accommodation. We, um, what is it, share the utility bills, the mm. internet, uh, the electricity, instead of me have to be renting for the whole entire place to myself. Mm-hmm. Um, that's another way and if like I think it was like a fridge breakdown I'm like okay then how about we just split the fridge into three ways um, yeah. and that you know, instead of a, what is a $300 fridge mm-hmm. that makes it you're gonna be out of pocket about $100 instead of three yeah so yeah, do, I guess that was my thing mm-hmm. um, uh, when I started my journey and do whatever it takes in in order to uh, yeah to minimize your expenses at whatever cost yeah. So, hopefully this gives you guys an understanding of it. Yes. Oh, yeah. In terms of, what was it again? <laughs> <laughs> things, oh, things that we do to achieve financially free. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Bye. Bye.